Hey, 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 what's up? How you doing today? I'm going to show you how, I re how, how to wire upgrade from T12 to T8 uh, fluorescent light fixtures. Um, it's pretty easy. Not that hard at all. Uh, don't get confused and discombobulated like I did. Um, <clears throat> this is for a one or two lamp fixture. And that's why I thought I'd make this clip because I don't think I found a clear explanation. And they're all very similar, but I, I didn't find one just like this light fixture. But this is just a four foot, one or two lamp um, fixture. These are the old, crappy, ancient T12 or T10 lamp F40 watt uh, Dallas 120 volt. The old ones have two wires going to, to each tombstone. The new ones just have one wire feeding each tombstone but you have to make some little jumper wires shunt jumper wires main tool you're going to need is just a decent um, some decent uh, wire strippers for these little 20 gauge wires um, the other side on the old ones has you know two wires going to the tombstone but it has these jumpers feeding the other tombstone which is very similar to what we're going to do so Here's how I wired this one. Mm. Pretty simple. So the new ballasts just have, in addition to your hot and neutral, it has three wires. Two, two blues and one red. So here's my two. Sorry, bear with me. Here's my two wires coming from the ballast, feeding the tombstone. And just plug a wire, your ballast wire, into the tombstone, and then just make some little jumper wires. Let me see if I can get this light. I got the bulbs out, so it's easier to see. Maybe. And your jumper wires don't have to be that long. They can they can be as short as you know little three inch ones or whatever. But that's all there is to it. Of course, I'm gonna bend these in like that. I'll get done with this and make sure the wire is still in good for the cover. So the cover will cover all that mess. Here's the other side. <clears throat> it's a little, pretty much the same. Here's your one ballast wire. You know the, the new T8 ballasts are nice and smaller and lightweight. and They don't hum and buzz and they're supposed to be better for cooler temps. And supposed to be more efficient. So. But anyway, you just got one wire coming in, feeding that tombstone. That's a little short, shorty, like three inch jumper wire in the middle. And then it's like about a six inch jumping to the other side. And another jumper wire. Now, when I first put this one up, I forgot and didn't put that smaller jumper wire in there on the left. And it was still working, so. But I think it's supposed to be in there. And, um, uh, I'm having a brain fart, what was I going to say? Um,. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah, they're more efficient and they don't cost they're just a few dollars more. I'll show you what this one is. This was this was a four ballast package we got at Home Depot. It was like $79 or $85, something like that. So you can get four ballasts and you got to get the T8 bulbs that are smaller in diameter than the old ones. But we got a box of 12 for like around... $29, $30, something like that. And also, if it's still confusing, here's the sketch that my electrician friend sent me. That Not the exact sketch, but I just made it, redrew it like he showed. These are just your blues coming in. Those are your tombstones looking up at them. I forgot to mention, just a regular uh, flathead screwdriver, medium size, will work to just stick in between just stick that your flathead up in between the back side of these on the, and pr start prying them off nice and gentle they'll come these come out pretty easy and then the hardest thing really is getting the wires out of those tombstones you just gotta twist the wire grab it firm and twist the wire and the tombstone and that's Otherwise, don't just yank and start pulling. You get a twist, and they'll come out easy. But yeah, so 
there's your blue wires feeding from the ballast coming in and just make a jumper wire over to the other side and I don't think it matters if you use the near or far hole in the tombstone and then here's your red side red wire coming in it's just like how I did it this one's foot gets full with a jumper wire short jumper wire then a long over the other side and then another and because about it pretty simple um, one thing cool I did notice on this package it's hard to see it lists like seven different type lamps you can use with these and most of them are F32 but at the bottom it says you can use a F25 T12 and I didn't realize that I just now noticed that which those are probably who knows they're probably expensive and rare who knows but let me know if you know correct me if I'm wrong and if you're using this in a more of an outdoor location or a porch or something I'd use some of this stuff on some of the connections on the uh, pins and the bulbs might help last little anyway hope that helps and hope that was simple enough um, check out this awesome stereo I got it's huge it's so powerful listen to that that's all the way up. Earned a graceful reputation that it might not deserve. Their temperament.